video, I'm going to do a quick review of the domestic car charger, the electric charger. This is very good for our climate because it's low emission. The cars don't have any pollution at all. So I've got this one installed. There are two options that you can have. You can have the one that is tethered. Tethered means it has cable permanently attached to it. The disadvantage of that is that you can't use it on any other car apart from the one that is designed for. So I've got this one that is untethered, means it has no cable that is attached to it because I already have Mercedes-Benz supply my smart car with a cable. So that cable comes in, plugs in to the side of the flap and it goes, the other end goes into your car like the normal pump, the petrol pump, but this time you are charging it through your home electricity. This is what the untethered one, it means it's non, it's detachable, it's not attached. So my car manufacturer, Mercedes Benz, supply this with my little smart for four. So you plug one end into a little flap on this side and the other end will go into your car. The same way you fill it up with your petrol. This particular model is called Project EV, it's the EVA. 07S SE. This is a little one that is quite good. It charges with a power of 7.5 and that's very good because with my little smart car I could charge within an hour to three hours. And this project EV is also solar ready. It has five years warranty on it which makes it very good. It comes with an app but the app is not very good at least not with my network because I've got 5G and I'm told that it needs to be lower than 2.4 for it to be showing available on my phone or don't worry if your app does not work you can still plug your your cable into the flap there manually connect to your car you don't have to control it on your phone but you can still charge without the app i recommend this because it's quite easy to install you can have it from the people who install online it will cost about between 800 pounds to 1000 pounds to do but the waiting time is usually between two weeks and eight weeks which i couldn't wait because my car was being delivered and i wanted it installed before so i got this off the internet you can buy this as a unit it comes in a box and that will cost about 600 pounds and then you order in the amount cable if you're an electrician don't have one this costs about six pounds 88 per meter and my house is right behind you my behind me here i put this on the other wall because it's in front of my garage and i can drive in overnight to charge and this goes into the wall into my meter it's about eight meters from here into my cupboard my meter cupboard and with this you need to have a metal box fuse and if your home currently have the plastic one you might need to change it your entire fuse box for about 600 pounds i didn't want to do that so i just got the little spare unit for specifically for this which cost about 50 pounds to buy but if you are going to install the people who will install this that, that comes with the package of the unit plus the installation will charge you additional 150 pounds to have that installed as well this is the back of my garage yeah like you see you can see the white little thing at the back that's the garage and behind this wall behind this wall is where that charger is placed and they've drilled my wall so the armored cable which is weatherproof comes in into my garden it's nicely done and then the electrician had drilled also my wall so this can go straight into my fuse box this is a little consumer unit that i've installed I got this 55 pounds, but you can buy this fully installed for 150. And that's my old plastic fuse box. So this is not compliant for this type of um, power because the electric car charger takes a lot of power from your home. So you need to either change this entire box for 600 pounds or just buy this little one. This little one is now wired into my meter and then it goes back into my fuse box. So you operate it from this. This is where 
you open it and you have the on button that you need to turn on and off so that you can protect your charger from other people using it when you are away from home. charger installed you need to have a space mine is in front of my garage and this is a private land so you can see that it's right behind i've got my charger so that charger would need the cable to be charging so if you are on a public road the installers will not be able to install it this is where you can have the tricky bit that you have to now resort to using the single face home one and that will take ages to charge. Alternative to the domestic home charger is the ordinary plug ones, the single face that you can just plug directly into any home one. So you, if you don't have the facility or the affordability for this one, you can just buy the cable and plug it into any home plug. This will take ages to charge, several hours. So that's why it's not a, a good advice to buy an electric vehicle if you don't have a private space like a driveway or a garage that you can place this in so you don't cross your cables across the road to um, cause accident to neighbors and passers by. I'm going to use the cable that is supplied by Mercedes Benz for my smart car to charge this petrol pump and the other one goes into the domestic charger. So I'm going to lift up the flap and push this down so it's gone in down. The other end is going to go into the car. First of all, you have to have your car on before you can get this release. So my car is on, open before you can open the flap. So there's a little flap, you pull that out, push it down and it opens. And then the other end of the plug, the charger, connect into your car. Mm -hmm. You can hear the sound is clicking. So the next thing to do is to switch on my electric charger in my fuse box and I'm going to just quickly go do that. Now. I'm going to switch it on for the car charger to turn on in my driveway. Charger and the kilowatts like I said on my electric charger is seven therefore this little car will charge in about one to two hours. I've got 60% on it, so in 30 minutes, I should have full battery. The Smart 44 electric car can only go 80 miles okay. before you need to, so you don't get stranded, or you can do it overnight in your home. The other tip is to charge when there is low payment of electricity, because there are different kind of rates, night and day rate. So plan it in such a way that you can do your charging during the low peak period. The charging, like I said, is being charged now and it will remain like that. No one can take this out when your car is being charged. But once the car is complete, it turns up usually by itself or you can use an app that comes with a charger. My charger app is not very good. It's saying unavailable on my phone. So what I have to do is just leave it overnight and then in the morning it's fully charged, turn off the electric charger from the fuse box and then um, I will be able to release this from my car and then I'm good to my go. car charger. So I'm going to turn it off here now and that will turn off the charger in my drive. Once it's switched off, it's flashing red, that means it's no longer charging. So I've, I'm going to remove it now. So to do that, I first of all have to open my car like that. You can hear it. And then this comes out. Then you close the flap. You know, that's a little flap that you push down to open like the petrol one. And then the other one goes back on your car. Is good. Then come to the side of your electric charger and take the other cable end out and then you can put both in your car boot for safe keeping but if it's in your garage that you've installed your base then you can wrap this around it has the facility to just hang it on it like a petrol station like that but mine is an outer wall of my garage because i've got a lot of stuff in my garage for safety purposes, so this doesn't get stolen like i said it costs 500 pounds to get 
to buy them so i'm going to take them back and put in my cardboard and place your charging cable back into your boot for next time so that's the car charger the project ev this one comes with an app like i said so you can control what you're doing with your charging time maybe you'd want to charge it for one hour two hours when to stop when to start you can set it and start it at any time but like i said earlier mine does not work with my wi-fi my network because i've got 5g i'm told by the company so yours might work or not work but it doesn't matter you can just manually plug in your cable charger onto there and then into your car so this little runner is a city vehicle it will take 80 miles of battery time and you will need to recharge it my channel i hope i've been able to throw a little bit of light on the domestic car chargers this one is a project ev you have different various manufacturers out there just check their review to see which one you prefer to use and it goes from three kilowatts to seven kilowatts to 22 kilowatts depending on how quickly you want your car to charge i hope to see you again next time until then thank you for watching Goodbye.